Yo, welcome back to Neptunia. We're pretty close to the finale, honestly. So, hear me out, right? Um, I'll talk about this a bit. To get the true ending in this game, it's pretty annoying. Because you have to get um, all of the CPU's shares up to, like, a certain percentage. Which, um... I'll just say right now, that is not fun. <laughs> that is not fun to do. I'll show you my shares right now, actually. Uh, and also, let me get my chat box in the view. There we go. So I'm going to show you my shares. Here are the shares right now. You can see I slightly lowered the other to... Um, I, I slightly lowered other, and I got Last Station and Lean Box up a bit. Here's the thing, if you want to get all of the goddesses to join you, you have to get each of those bars up to a certain part. I think I only have Last Station and Lean Box up to like 15%, which means if I want to... If I want to get them up, I have to do a lot of grinding. As you can see, I'm like mid-50s now. I think in the last episode, I was, like, somewhere in, like, the low 50s, so I, I gained, like, maybe, like, a two to five levels off-screen. And, yeah, it's kind of a, kind of wild, honestly. But I can show- I can talk about a few of the things that I got done off-screen. Uh, for one, Kampa got a new weapon called the Splashing Acid, which is slightly better than the used liquid. It gives her a lot of physical attack and gives her more magic. Um... Iffy is the same. I also found an equipment called the Rubber Band, which is just slightly better than the Gold Bangle. The Gold Bangle, um, you can't really see it, but the Gold Bangle gives, like... Okay, how do I explain this? The Rubber Band is the same as the Gold Bracelet, except the Rubber Band gives you 300 more magic defense, and it also gives you a bit of elemental resistance, which is not bad. And... I also bought, um, I think I also bought Nisa new weapon. I, get, I bought her the Prinny, the Prinny Gun Mark II, which doesn't, it didn't really increase her strength that much. It increased it by like 300, so I don't really know if it was worth the money. I should have instead invested in buying 5 PB and red actual weapons, because look at their stats, they're terrible. But that's what we're going to do today. We're going to try and get enough money, because as you can see, I... Pretty much maxed out all of my items. Um, the only one that's not maxed out is the reflexes mostly, but everything else is like at 999. So I won't have to worry about buying items anymore. So thank God. But yeah, we're gonna go to um, we're gonna go to the He Rule Castle because that's where we gotta go next. Because there's a dungeon here, surprisingly. Because I was not expecting you have to do a dungeon to just talk to Greenheart, but whatever. Here we are anyway. So there's a few dungeons left before we can go to Celestia, as far as I know. To my knowledge, there isn't really much of this game left. Let's see what we find. Oh, there is no treasure in this dungeon, so we can just go straight to the end. Well, here's what I'll do then. We're gonna have Nisa call some monsters. Fight fair and square. I mean, surely the monsters in here won't be that strong. I'll do my best. Surely enough. Oh yeah, Mon the monsters in here are piss easy. Entering max power mode. She can instantly kill them Entering with Max one turn. Mode. That's the that's the result of me grinding. <laughs> the only problem is that um Nisa is faster than um Neptune now. So Nisa always goes first in battle. I think that's just kinda I just I think that's natural though. It's still weird though. <laughs> Because I'm so used to Neptune going first, but Nisa just outspeeds everybody. A heroine's turn. 
You know, he's got to kill like three or four waves of flowers. Victorious! You don't really get that much experience. By the way, I found this one dungeon in Last Station, I think. And there was a boss there that gave me two million experience, which is the same amount of experience as that one guy, that one Cleon that I fought. And it's kind of wild that a boss gave me the same amount of experience as an optional enemy. Item oh, well, I guess I could actually use those. Why 17, though? It's such a random number. So, if I had to guess, she's probably, like, right here, up here. So we're gonna go there. Oh, that's weird. You use the right stick, left and right, to zoom in and out. <laughs> I think I've also talked about how Yay! I eventually want to test out Metal Gear Solid 4 on this emulator. Because... I tried it wa a long time ago. But... It didn't go great. Because <laughs> my, uh... My old there PC was pretty me. bad. Heart? Oh no! She overheated and fell! Oh shit. We must help her! Oh... Oh, Kumpa, Nup Nup, and Iffy. Shh, don't talk. You must cool <laughs> Let down. a nurse handle this. Let me treat you with some ice packs. Oh, please don't move. Thank <laughs> you, but I'm okay. I'm a goddess. This is nothing. Are you here to fight monsters too? You should go to another dungeon. I can handle this place alone. Now we're fine. No, I can't let you fight any more with those wounds. You need to go back and rest up for a bit. These monsters aren't going to go anywhere. <laughs> Look at Neptune out. just awkwardly smiling. We have to carry her back. Iffy, get her legs. Huh? Oh, sure. You've gotten a lot more confident since I first met you. Wow, Kamba had a character arc. Injuries aren't bad, but your body is very, very hot. Maybe she just overheated. <laughs> I'm fine. I've slacked off enough. I need to push my limits. I've awakened to my true mission. I want to protect this land as its goddess. She's gotten very serious about it. But you need to take care of yourself to do that. Plus, the monsters aren't your fault. Kampa, allow me to explain. Is this our first time meeting? Esty. I am Istwar, the one who presides over this world. Istwar, oh, I know you. I heard a voice in my head once who said the same name. So the Isti that Nepnep -Nep was talking about was you. I thought I was just hearing things out of boredom. My voice could only reach goddesses at the time. I do not blame your disbelief. Yeah, well, the difference here is that Vert didn't lose her memories like Nep Nep did. <laughs> now then, let us talk about the former goddess Arfor. You are involved in this too. What is, what is Vert gonna say? She's like, oh no, I got a land party. Sorry, can't do it. Bye bye. <laughs> How funny would that be? That seems like such a Vert thing to say. I see. The cause of our war. The monsters. The conflict between the aristocrats and the Basilicom, all instigated by R4. At least Vert is like the most rational one though out of the goddesses, like... Noir and Blonde get all hot-headed and shit. <laughs> it doesn't work out very well. She still possesses the powers of a goddess. Her power is absolute, different from the abilities you currently have. She's a goddess, huh? Why would she want to destroy the world? That... I have no information on. <laughs> but we cannot let her continue. Please, lend us your power. I'm sorry, but caring for my land is my first priority. I understand it may sound foolish, but... How are you not all mad and yelling and stuff? I am. 
How can <laughs> she do this even though she used to be a goddess? She doesn't deserve that title. Wow. I think that's like the angriest I've seen Neptune. You still don't remember your past, do you? Please don't act like you know what it means to be a goddess. I realized this by interacting with the people here. The goddesses are the foundations of this planet. If the former goddess is doing this because she was tired of the responsibility, I sympathize somewhat. You can't talk her down when you're not even aware of yourself or your responsibilities as a goddess. Oh, damn. Okay, I was not expecting Vert to talk down to me. <laughs> Please leave. I'd like to focus on myself and Leanbox. Oh, okay. Well, at least she didn't say she's gonna go do a LAN party or something, because that would have really ruined the moment. Okay, so... We went all that way just for her to say, like, Bitch, you don't got your memories. <laughs> Alright, well, thanks. coincidentally, Last Station is right there, so we're gonna go there, and we're gonna go talk to Noir, which is gonna go extremely well, by the way. <laughs> That's definitely not gonna end in failure. This is all scripted, by the way. You are supposed to get rejected by the goddesses. But it is just kind of weird. I don't, I don't think they do that in... Well, obviously, you know, no, they... Well, obviously, no, they don't do that in Rebirth 1. They, like, because by that point, you have the goddesses in your team. This game just likes to be weird and special, and not give you the goddesses for the entire game. They really make you work for them. They make you work for those damn goddesses. Oh no, my detoxes are full. See, even random encounters aren't exciting now, because I don't get items, because <laughs> I max them out. Alright, resignation of a CPU. The group returns to the last station of Basilicom to gain Blackheart support. Meanwhile, the rumor of the CPU's resignation floats in the air. Let's see how badly this goes. I feel like this is gonna go bad because Blackheart doesn't like us. <laughs> Lady Blackheart, the order has been given. However, people are falling into confusion. It's fine. Stop the formalities. I'm retiring as goddess today. Politicians resign when they screw up, right? Avenir, the tech expo. I've caused so much trouble for everyone. How can a CPU <laughs> resign? <laughs> that doesn't mean you have to take full responsibility. It was my mistake to interfere with the human world. I should have stayed in Celestia. Integrate the Sanctuary and Parliament. There will be minor conflicts at first, but eventually they'll learn to get along. Still. Enough of your interjections. These are the last commands from Lastation CPU. Just accept it. <laughs> I asked everyone to stay away for a while. Oh boy. Oh. And 138 times. I think. Along with this tea. What are you all doing here? And another member on top of it? Fine, whatever. You may leave. Understood. I got a question. Whose love child do you think Isti is? Ready, go. Nep, nep, this is not the time. <laughs> what? Love child? Quit with the random crap. <laughs> Sorry, she's definitely nobody's love child. <laughs> okay, that's going in my screenshots. <laughs> anyway, my lady, we came here to ask for a favor today. Isti will explain the details. Okay, that explains everything about the monsters in Avenir. You're saying it was done by our former goddess, R4? Uh-huh. Even though she was this world's goddess, she did a class change and became a villain. <laughs> she, she did a class change. <laughs> How can you accept that as a goddess? I want to ask you to come with us and beat her up. Sorry, I was just going back to Celestia. I swore to myself I was done with the human world. That's perfect, then. R4 is in Celestia right now. Please. We beg you. R4 will destroy the world. We need your power. This story's unbelievable. All these monsters are from our former goddess, and that girl's at home? I met the evangelist you claim was R4. 
She didn't look like someone who'd destroy the world to me. But, but, it's not like I care. <laughs> yeah, well... It's not like I care. Um, monsters exist, you know? Who else can summon them besides a goddess? Meh. Maybe someone's breeding them in a monster ranch or something. Wow, Noir just does not believe it at all. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Monster rancher isn't a job. That's so silly. Monster ah, rancher. Just shut up! First off, Neptune, you haven't gotten your memory back, have you? Oh. You're such a nosy little outsider. Don't tell me what to do. Are you done? I'm not helping. I'm not joining you. You got that? Now get out of here. Yeah, that, that, that's, that went about as I expected it to. Oddly, though, I feel like she was a little nicer than Blonde was. But maybe that's just me. Anyways, we gotta go back to Planet Tune. Because Planet Tune is where we're gonna get our memories back. And I think that's a pretty, like, pivotal point in the story, so... Let's go back. And get into a stupid encounter with a level 1 enemy on the way there. Really, way, really good way to ruin the moment, you know, game. You know, I feel like I should get, like, a seal badge or something. It's like, hey, you've done transportation 25 times. You get to go there for free now without having to do this dumbass dungeon and fight fucking hornets. You know what I mean? <laughs> Would be nice. I realized while grind I realized while grinding, I think I know why people hate the teleportation system now. <laughs> because it makes hopping between the nations so obnoxious. I get it now. I understand why people hate this mechanic. It's not fun, it just slows the game down. It was cool at first. I feel like you should only have to do it like once per nation or something, and then you should just be able to do it for free. But let's see. Oh yeah. Recollection. Neptune, the CPU who lost her memory. Consequently, the other CPUs will not see her as equal. To her despair, Eastwar imparts another nugget of truth. Hen <laughs> nugget. Ma, is it because I don't know anything? They're not going to listen to me until I can remember my past as a goddess. Oh well, we can do this alone without the other goddesses. Cheer up. If you really oh, want to remember, 139 times. this is our last resort. Let's shake you like when you smacked into the ground from the sky! Put down the syringe. Only old TVs get fixed when you smack them. <laughs> Good one. Haven't you seen Nep Nep when she uses her special skill? She might be kind of similar to household appliances. <laughs> D don't look at me like that. It's not gonna work. I'll just get a headache. Yeah, then you're gonna have to take some Tylenol, and that's not good. <laughs> then, how about some medical treatment? Platitude's medical technology is very effective, but very pricey. You know what always bugs me? My friends always complain about getting headaches. And then I just say, well, just fucking take Tylenol then. <laughs> and they don't even think about that. I don't get it. Am I the only one with a brain around here? How much? This is a worldwide crisis. This will turn things around. I'd consider it. Well, <laughs> hell no. Advanced technology is bad. Let's stick to the old-fashioned way. Get ready for my backhand, Nep. No hitting cute little girls. Don't give me a shot. Don't shoot me. Don't cut me. Gut me. Slap me. Cut me or pinch me. Once more, let us return to the goddesses. I will convince them, no matter what. Totally impossible. I want to get my memory back, too. I feel like I'm just running away if I don't. Worry not, buddies. We'll find a way to get my memory back, and then we can go ask the CPUs to join us again. Misty can get tell her. I insist. I can repair your missing records using the tome. What? How? I thought you didn't have the power to write in the tome without a goddess. Repairing is an exception. We have had facts disappear before. Like UFOs. <laughs> really now? Are you sure? Once your memory is regained, there is no forgetting it again. Why would you want to forget? Yeah, yeah. I'm a CPU, right? A goddess has got to protect her land and stuff. It's 
my job to convince the other chicks to fight R4 and protect game industry. I like how Neptune only wants her memory back so she can convince the other CPUs. That is not the... Come on, let's hurry! Monsters are still out there attacking peeps! No worries, ladies. This Neptune isn't gonna go anywhere. Let's just do it! Understood. Then here it is. We're gonna get a fancy animation. Oh. Huh? Nobody's here. Iffy? Kampa? Istipu? Someone's a coming. Oh, I. Oh I shit. Gotta hide. I need to ask where this is. Here, here comes Arfi. Excuse me. Do you know where? Whoa! R four. I finally <laughs> gotcha. This will be our final battle. Or not? Don't ignore me. What's up? Are you totally not gonna say hi? Oh, she's coming back. I can't rule the human world anymore. This must be the time. Sad music? Oh, what is the matter? You appear tense. What? W where did Isti come from? Uh, hello? Am I, like, invisible? Or are they just ignoring me? Fine, whatever. I'll just be a voyeur like I always wanted. Oh, it's just one of those, like, you see the past but you can't interact with the past sort of deals? I can't stand it anymore, Estuar. We must create a new, more competent CPU. Sad R4. may need another to share in the responsibility. Celestia is far too quiet for one person, after all. Oh, is that why they made four CPUs? Oh, the air feels a bit different now. Is this still Celestia? Nice, someone's coming again. Istuar, I've rewritten each land's records for the four goddesses. By the time the new CPUs are born, Billions of years will have passed in the human world. No sign of my rule will remain by then. They are ready. Look, oh, 140 these times. Are your children. They have your eyes. That's not funny. <laughs> you are giving them your knowledge, your experiences, your wisdom. That is how things are passed on in history. <laughs> oh, you says that's not funny. Responsibilities. This detestable ritual may end someday. End? Sure. I hope these new goddesses will be able to change the future. Happy Isti. Oh, 141. Neptune! Neptune! Oh. What? <laughs> me? Are you talking to me now? Well, why'd you ignore me all this time, you big boobed meanie? <laughs> you big boobed Celestia meanie. Celestia is in a very unstable state right now. Each CPU is changing their planet as they see fit. The people below are getting dragged around by their goddesses' selfish acts. This sounds familiar. Take the other goddesses down. Bring them down and unify both the human world and Celestia. Wait, she can that do that? That is the only way to save the people from the impending apocalypse. Once you defeat the other CPUs, Celestia will be forced to accept you as the true goddess and let you protect the world. Damn, really? The world will end unless you bring order to the human world. You are the only one who can save game industry. I remember that. I was told I'm the only one who can save the world. That's why I wanted to help the folks in need. I was fighting the other goddesses to protect my own land. Why didn't we notice? Everyone else was probably told the same poppycock. We were being lied to by that meanie hag, R4. <laughs> meanie hag. <laughs> G what? Are you awake? I figured it was about time. I believe your lost and current memories were merging, causing you to fall into a confused state of mind. Are you alright? Do you recall anything now? 
about your time as a goddess? Yeah, thanks to you. I found out a whole lot of stuff about you, the other goddesses, and R4. Ayaf and Kampa have left to go shopping. They figured you'd be hungry upon regaining consciousness. It has been six hours. What the fuck? She was asleep for six hours? <laughs> what? Oh, that's like an entire sleep cycle right there. Damn, that was that was pretty good. That was a pretty good uh, cutscene. We have 82% event completion. Um, what do I do now? CPU's disappearance. Neptune regains her memory, and despite Kampa and IF's concerns, she seems to handle it well. Meanwhile, another incident strikes the party. Oh, 142! a big information dump. I'm sure she'd want some time alone. She's probably out stuffing her face. No! All her stuff, including her wallet and antacids, are here! No way she's gorging! She left a note and disappeared. <laughs> Neptune has left the party, oh shit. Missy, can you find out where she is? Please hurry! It will take some time, but it is possible. Is this not an invasion of privacy, though? It says, Thanks for all the fun times and very neat, curly, girly riding. This is nothing like Nep Nep. This is true. It is just that the information I contain is quite large. <laughs> this may take up to three days. God damn it, the three days again. Three days? It'd be faster for us to look around on our own. We must look for some witnesses. Oh boy. Give that to me. I can finally put my cell phones to use. Hell yeah. <laughs> Neptune has left the party. Oh yeah, <laughs> there it is. Well, second time that happened. Wow, I don't think they ever forcefully remove Neptune from the party in any of these games, do they? Goddess only path. Oh shit. This is going to be pretty important then. Wait, so, in that case... Oh. A guild member said he saw Nep over on the other side of this particular dungeon. Oh, by the way, this is the first time we're actually seeing this background properly. What is she doing here by herself? She is probably going to face R4. There is an area over there for goddesses to ascend to Celestia. I was not expecting all of this shit after trying to regain Neptune's memories. Okay, well, now I have, um, I have 5 PB in my party. Here's what I'll do. We're gonna swap you around. I think that's a good, I think that's a good team. High PB is and red are kind of still ill fit for battling, but it's nice to have my party like that. And I have no re no no eject buttons. I need some more of those. I've done plenty of dungeons like this already, so this is nothing new to me. All right, I'm gonna wait around and get an encounter. Come on. Everyone, get ready. <laughs> I just want to get the encounters out of the I way. Can take care of this alone. Banger music. Hold on, look at that dude, Skeleton King. Okay, now these enemies are kind of tough. That's good. Did you think that was it? I'm glad the enemies are actually kind of strong now. Uh, here. I mean, this is supposed to be like, um... Never you know, the climax of the game, right? So, it makes sense these enemies are really strong. Or maybe the Skeleton King is just really tanky, I don't know. Yeah, I think the Skeleton... I think he's just really tanky. Wow, he did like no damage. Yeah, that was a bit of a tougher encounter. Oh, 
Okay, now these- the, it's just the Demon King was really weak. <laughs> Mr. Bones, hello. Bats. Killer bat. I never let my Man, that was, that's it. That was good exercise. Wow, twelve thousand credits for that. That's pretty damn good. <laughs> so many so many just of the boom boom sound. Gust, where's the treasure at? My turn to do something? Um, it says it's that way. So well then, what's over here then? Is this an enemy encounter? What is this? Is, is it just a treasure? This is probably not worth it, is it? I found treasure. Nope. Wait, hang on. How many items do I have? I actually need reflexes, so you know what? Fine, I'll take it. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep my items at max, like, the whole time now. That's a game in itself. So I'm, I'm gonna guess Neptune's just gonna be chilling at the end of this dungeon somewhere. Nice item. Oh, don't need those. See, that's the thing. I keep checking the chest because you never know. There might actually end up being, like, might something in there. Something? Um, I'm gonna guess this way is optional, so I'm gonna go here. Because these dungeons have missable shit in them. My turn to do something? Okay, so this treasure's over this way. But where is it? My turn to do something. Oh, okay, there it is. I kind of want to speed this up, so I'll just use it with Iffy. I hope we'll find something nice. Awesome. Not worth it. <laughs> Actually, it, it kind of was because now I almost maxed out everything. So the trick is when you when you're when the, when the enemies come back, it's actually a good idea to walk for like five or six seconds, and a little more if you want to risk it. Because if you do that, um, you can get you can get a little bit of extra distance before um, you know the enemies and come back. He's not actually that strong. So the enemy, the, the this guy, this skeleton king, he's not strong. He's just hella tanky. That's the only thing about him. Boom! Just shoot him with a gun. All right, guy here, skeleton king. Just gonna kill this guy. I think I'm gonna swap off Iffy, because the paralysis is kind of annoying. Oh, I fucked up actually. <laughs> this is a bonus. Alright, I'm gonna swap her off so Don't she can get rid of paralysis. I've been waiting for this. Here's the thing, right? Since statuses go away when you switch. It kind of defeats the purpose for the paralysis and poison heal, um, like, items. There's more of this banger music. By the way, another thing. Apparently, 5PB has a move that heals the party. I'm not sure what that's all about so far, because I don't think I've actually activated it. But it sounds kind of interesting. 
Oh boy, she got poisoned. Best drawing song. Oof, that did a lot of damage. Or a lot of well, a lot of guard damage rather. Right there. Yeah, guard break. Keep her in. <laughs> Thankfully, Nisa's weapon's really good now, so she does a lot of damage. <laughs> Great work! Oof, twenty-one thousand credits. I think those skeleton kings just give a, a crap ton of um, crap ton of credits and experience. So yeah, uh, 5PB got a new, um, skill that I need to look at. Um... I need to look at it. Where is it at? It'll be here. There's one called, um, it's like 5PB stage or something. Yeah, 5PB on stage. This one is 60. And it aims at the group. This one must be the heal. Because it says it's it's aimed at... Well, I don't know. It says there's something that heals. I can't tell which one does that, though. Switch. Combo link. None of these say it heals, but I guess we'll have to find out. Upon defense, upon switching, upon battle. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, these ones aren't bad. These ones heal you when the battle starts. So if you're 50% or less, you can heal a little bit. <laughs> I might set that to, like... 70 or something. So for that reason, 5BB is pretty good. I don't know, I just read somewhere that she can apparently get a, co a combo link that heals you. Or something like that. And I don't know how true that is. Yay! Oh boy, more items I don't need. <laughs> Anything over here? I don't think there's a, I don't think there's much over here. Besides this treasure with items that I probably already have. Item obtained. But you never know though, that's the thing. Cause every now and then there's like a key item that you can miss, or um like equipment. Which might be good. That's the thing. Okay, let's save, because I don't know what's gonna be here at the end of this dungeon. alone. Nap Nap, you're not the only one who wants to stop R4. That's not the point. I just can't stand knowing a part of her is inside me and I can't get rid of it. You don't even know if all four of the CPUs could do this. Why would you think going alone is enough? You'll die. I want to end this craziness. R4, myself, and everything else. We're a party. We share the same fate. That's right. That's a good line, you actually. Coming off as cool at all oh, by trying to beat 143. Her hey, it's not like I'm trying to look cool. There she is, the Nep we know. If you really want to go, then we're going to stop you. Fine. <laughs> I think you got the stones or whatever. I'll take you all! Wait, what? <laughs> Why are we fighting Neptune? What the fuck? This is the weirdest boss fight ever. Let's keep going. 
Are you keeping up with me? Huh? I'll get you. <laughs> we have to beat the shit out of Neptune. I'll get you. Why? All right, getting better. I don't I don't know why. There's something really funny about that. Oh shit, she's using my own moves against me. Okay. Best to heal her. Entering max power mode. I mean, you're supposed to do this with only two party members, so it's probably really easy Take because of that. It's all you. And I also might be a little over-leveled. Yeah, gun. I'll get you. Why? <laughs> Why? I'll give you special service. I, I think Gus started the whole trend of random moves being in German for no reason. <laughs> it's still my turn. Or maybe that it's possible that was also blonde, but I don't know. Thank you for healing Iffy. All right. Well, no wonder Neptune's sucking. She's only she only has the wooden sword. She doesn't have the badass one that I gave her. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Whoa. Red's still doing a pretty good job despite having Thanks. shitty weapons. Sorry for the wait. Nisa is here. All right, I guess the Nisa's gonna end it off. Never ends. Whoa. Evil is unforgivable. I mean, Neptune's not evil, but that's okay, Nisa. I forgive you. This is my justice. This is how we're gonna end the battle. Yeah. It's only over if I give up. Does that, that was good exercise. <laughs> Question. Does yeah. that reduce my shares by 1% since she died? <laughs> All right. Level 55 for Iffy. Wow, I just stole all of Neptune's experience points. It's super dark in here. It's like when I had that dream of Isti, but this isn't the same. Is that... us? Oh, my eyes. Today's job is to rescue an Avenir employee. What, what, what? Helping Avenir again? I don't know about helping out our sworn nemesis. Besides, don't their employees carry giant boomsticks they make at their factories? Xion said Avenir doesn't make weaponry for human use due to their president's motto. Plus, the employees themselves aren't bad people. You shouldn't be picky about which lives deserve saving, Nep Nep. <laughs> Random flashback. I remember that. I wanted to save people, but not the people I didn't like. I'm such a selfish little girl. If he sure is being a slowpoke with her shopping, maybe she couldn't find a store. Should we order some pizza? If he is out getting us food. Let's just be patient and wait for her. Do you want to call her and ask where she is? If he went to buy me some yummies, but I got sick from some poison sandwich. I wonder if she ever found tuna mayo. <laughs> but, but, but this is your land. You got to know it like the back of your head, right? If you're busy, we can come back later. When are you free? Tomorrow? The day after? The day after that? After that? That? You're really pissing me off. I said to ask the Basilicom. I don't care anymore. What are all the random back, out? like, flashbacks? Oh, wait, one more. Have you heard of anyone named Isti? Her full name is... Holy crap, shut up! I said I don't know. Such nerve showing yourself in front of me like this. Enough! Don't ever return!
I remember that time Blonde yelled at me. I was such a spoiled little princess. How can I talk about justice? I'm like the same as R4. That is not true. You did not ignore my voice. You were the only one who believed in me. That is true. Oh, 144. I feel like someone asked me to do something while I was unconscious. Yeah, someone was crying out for help in my dream. In your dream? Then it's not real. Oh, you never know. It was so weird. I bet you someone far away was like, and sent me a telepathic message, you know? Noticing the shortcomings of yourself or others is natural. But everyone has both good and bad traits. Try focusing on the positives, or you will be consumed by hatred. I think I can understand why R4 is trying to destroy the world. She is trying to commit the biggest taboo for goddesses. Although, it will not solve anything. <laughs> She's just a negative Nancy. Please, stop R4. No matter what. Nap nap. Are you awake? This is. Are we in the present again? House. We were closer to here than the Basilicom. This was the second time I had to carry you in like this. You're heavier now. <laughs> Are you up? I guess we were a bit too hard on you. Sorry, but it's kind of your fault, too. I know, I know. Sorry, Dari. I was just being all stubborn and stuff. You should get some more rest. We'll leave you alone for now. No, no. I'm getting up now. I'm okay. I was kind of a failure as a leader, huh? I brought down the whole party. Yeah. When were you a leader? Well, we are a party, though. Don't try to leave us again. You're the one who told me that, you know. Ooh, bit of a stutter there. And I said it to Nep Nep before that. Seriously, though, don't disappear like that. Yuppity yup yup. I won't try to go anywhere alone anymore except the bathroom. <laughs> except that. the bathroom. God damn it. I, I, I kind of have to put that in. Um. Oh, shit. What the fuck's going on? Why am I eating so much shit? Kind of a lot of, uh... Kind of taking a CPU dip here. Hmm. Hopefully that won't happen again. Where is she anyway? Yeah, where did ASD go? She's been researching ways to defeat R4. She knew you'd regain your motivation after well, you got enough sleep. Is it was this 144? Oh yeah? I need to go talk to her. Is she next door? She is, right? Is he? <laughs> They're like sisters. The smart one and the other one. Canvas face. <laughs> Neptune was added back. Oh, you know what that means? You know what that means? I gotta fix her fucking equipment again. Oh boy, how fun. Okay, so we're gonna. I actually don't know what we have left to do. We have, uh, it's just to Celestia, that's it. Okay. Honestly, I think we could probably try and get the bad ending. Because, as far as I'm concerned, there's nothing left to do. Besides, um, like, trying to raise the shares up. I mean, if you do raise the shares... You, um... Oh, wow. Those really, uh... Those really lower the shares, don't they? Here's the problem. Raising shares is kind of annoying. <laughs> because... For everything that gets... For everything that gets, um, lowered... Or something that... For everything that gets, like, up, it goes... I don't, I don't know how to, I don't even know how to word this. <laughs> Trying to lo raise shares is just annoying because you raise something, but then something else equally important gets lowered. 
so yeah. What are my shares like right now? Do any of these lower the other? This seems to... It seems to up Last Station and lower the other and Planet Tune, though. And this seems to lower Lean Box and other at the same time. Defeat the bosses. The bosses of this game await at the dungeon's end. According, apparently this is just a normal ass quest. <laughs> is this one even possible though? <laughs> Let's find out. But I did say I was gonna do a couple side quest dungeons before we go beat up R4 and you know Celestia and all that. So let's see. The victory is ours. Uh, the question is, how tough are these monsters? Because I don't know. They might be level 700 and kick my ass. Nope, they're not. They're, these guys are easy. Shining dragon. Victorious. Oh yeah, they these some weak ass enemies. What the hell? Okay. So we can probably do this one then. Uh, if I had to guess, we probably gotta go up to the top. Let's fight fair and square. Let's call some enemies on. I'll take you all. These dragons aren't very tough. So if I do this, I'll raise my shares a little bit. This is a Are there any other enemies besides Shining Dragon in this dungeon? Okay, okay, there, there's some other enemies. Okay, these guys are a bit tougher. This is a All right, get yeah, a bit, a, bit, a bit tougher. Ooh, okay, okay. Yeah, these guys are definitely tougher. And Gust is fucking dead. Rip Gust. Oh yeah, um... This might be a tough one to win. Uh, here. I'll finish you off. I think doing- I think doing this was a bad idea. <laughs> I don't have any eject buttons, so I'm just gonna have to keep going. I... Don't think I won't be watching. Switching 5 PV is not a great idea, but fuck it, I'm doing it anyways. Oh, well, we might be screwed, honestly. Oh boy. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> this is bad. Oh shit. Why can't I be the heroine? Wow, okay, uh, these guys still kinda suck to fight. And we're basically dead. We're barely living. Alright, just keep defending. I don't think 5 PB's living this. She's barely living, holy fuck. How? How? How is she living this? I can't even do that. Oh, well, I used too much of my AP. <laughs> How does she keep living? Is is 5PB gonna solo this? Honestly, she might. She might solo this. Next, please. I'm glad you depend on me. I don't have any- I don't- I, I don't have any, um... Oops, I used the wrong thing. I, never I don't have any... Like, what do you call it? Right, get I don't know what I'm trying to say. This is a bonus. Take it home. Either way, that guy's dead. I don't have any eject buttons left, that's what I meant this to say. I might win this win this battle just barely. <laughs> All 
right. Well, no, because there's, there's still another wave after this. I'll yeah, I'm dead. Favor later. Fuck that. That dungeon might not be possible. Why were the dragons so easy, but then those guys were a pain in the ass? Hmm, good question. Here's what I have to wonder, though. Is the boss that tough? Also, I, I'm pretty sure leaving the dungeon's actually bad. I'm pretty sure leaving the dungeon actually causes the shares to drop. Which is bad. You do, you do not want to do that. But anyways, um, let's go shopping. Let's buy some eject buttons, because I kind of ran out of those. And do I have any money to buy a good weapon for 5 PB in red? Um, I can get 5 PB, a good guitar. So I'm going to do that. So this boosts her um, magic attack from 1900 to 3300. Yeah, that's pretty. That's a pretty good increase, honestly. And I'll put the gold bracelet on her. It's better than the vintage bracelet. There we go. Okay. Can I try that again? Oh yeah. Also, lost employee apparently gives you a lot of cares. Game industry. Yeah, this one increases Planet Tunes shares. So it's better to save before you enter the dungeon. And not when you enter the dungeon. <laughs> if you leave, you lose shares, I think. So it's a bad idea. Let's not waste our time here too much. What the fuck is this thing? Golden Dragon. I'm... Yeah, this guy's a bit stronger. This is a... No, he just gives me low tension. Well, this... You off. this guy isn't bad. It's just, it's just those one. It's just those random like three guys in a group that kind of suck to fight. If I had to guess, this guy gives a lot of experience. Victorious! Oh yeah, 25,000 and 6,000 credits. I mean, it's not much by this point in the game. It's just kind of whatever. But if I run into the- if I run into that group of like three dudes that all look the same, I'm definitely running away from that, because th that's- that's um, annoying and not fun to fight. Angel H. Oh yeah, before I forget, <laughs> let me put Neptune's good uh, good stuff back on. Oh, that's where my gold bracelet went. That's why I had an extra one. By the way, for some reason it deleted my DLC outfit again. So, I honestly might as well just not even fucking bother. Well, it's a good thing it keeps my combo skills. Imagine every time it deleted Neptune from your party, it deleted that. Okay, so what is this? Oh, I have to I have to equip her with this stuff again. Angel H. Nah. I just do whichever one gives me the the most strength. <laughs> Pretty much. All right, I'm remembering now. Yeah, Marshall gives me the most, and then for this, I believe it's. It's Force Blue, yeah. Force Blue gives me a crap ton of strength. This is if I get, I can do this dungeon successfully. Item Angel L. All oh, right, all kinds of good equipment. We will win. Wait, what the fuck is this encounter? Is this one bad? Oh, oh, this one's really bad. Oh no. <laughs> This is, this is Danger Zone. This... Danger Zone. Wait, let me see how much damage I can do with them. Oh yeah, no, we are not doing this. Oh, 
I'll fight the dragons gladly, but not those guys. Yay! Lean box C. Wow, look at all this stuff we're getting. I want to see what and what boss at the end of this. Huh? Where's the boss? Are we in danger? At least it'll be exciting. Where the fuck is the boss at? Why is the boss not here? Where is he? Is he up here? Huh? Was I supposed to go to the right? Oh no. Oh fuck. Um... This isn't good. Did I actually go the wrong way? Like legit? It's annoying that they get the first attack on me, too. They get the jump. Why do these guys have to get the jump on me, bro? Fuck. Go away. This, this, that's the thing. There's a lot of good stuff in here that I want. Like Angel C. And a Cleon. You know what? I might actually leave the dungeon. Hang on, let me... Uh, maybe I can compare. I'm gonna take a screenshot, and I'm gonna leave the dungeon. Let me, let me take it, let me compare these two. This is the only way I'll actually know. Oh yeah! Leaving the dungeon does fuck up the shares. That's why the other meter is so damn high. Because I left dungeons so many times. I mean, I really needed to leave though, because I got bodied. That makes so much sense now. So, you, leaving the dungeon is a really bad idea. Okay. Then, from now on, we're gonna save before we enter dungeons, and we're gonna go the right way this time. Thankfully, we don't get encounter until about 16 seconds in. I counted, by the way. It seems to be pretty consistent. Are we in danger? Oh, At fuck. least it'll be exciting! No, this encounter is also ass. <laughs> I hate that they get the jump on you, it's so annoying. I came here before, and um, the enemies are pretty annoying in here. Like, there's only two enemies that are actually worth fighting. Every other enemy is just, like, annoying and batshit insane. This must be where the boss is, then. Ooh, this is going to be tough. Can I fight this guy? I might be able to beat this guy, honestly. You can finish this. Finish it good. My turn. I love that line. Finish it good. Oh. Yeah, I think I think we can beat this guy in the three turns that we have. And then Nisa gets an extra attack in, which is good. Please take care of it. We're gonna you just be can. barely able to finish this guy off. Especially because Compa's damn weapon is so good. Now's my chance to yep, there we go, we got him. Soldier. How much like, experience does that guy give? This is our true power. That's not much, actually. That's pretty shit. That guy's not worth fighting at all. 
All right, here's the boss. Are we in danger? At least it'll be exciting. It'll be exciting. All right, this is the guard vermin. This is a. You better give me something later for switching. I hope. I, I don't know. If, for this? I don't know if this guy's gonna rock my ship, but I guess we'll find out. I keep underestimating how much AP 5PB uses up. Oh my god, okay. Now, that ba bat's bad. No. Well, thank god for the heal. The paralysis heal. Entering max. This guy is gonna be a bitch to take down. Ah, uh, here's the problem. Is Gus low enough to heal? I don't think she is. She's just barely out of range. Please take care of it. You can nah, nah, nah. Me. Compa being extremely um vulnerable as always. Gonna defend it. Combo's probably gonna die. Actually, she lived. She lived that. Emergency care. And a first aid kit. Okay, Combo's Combo's kind of pulling her weight again. That's good. Alright, Gus campaign. I never We might be able to beat this guy, I don't know. He's pretty he's pretty fucking tough though. I'll finish you off. Hmm, dang. Take over, citizens! It's all you! You can count on me! Alright, defend. We're gonna have 5 PB, um, attack. And defend. Oh boy. Uh oh. Oh. The to oh. Now. That was a close one. <laughs> look at, look at I lo also, I love Red's animation of her being afflicted with a status. She looks all drunk and shit. Okay, switch. Let me stand back for a bit. Switch off so I can keep my stat so I can get rid of the status. Sorry for the wait. Nisa is here. A hero is. I'm gonna give this one a go, and if I can't do it, I might just switch to a different dungeon or something. Because this is otherwise going pretty damn good. Please take care of it. It's probably the easy way to get rid of paralysis, though. Yeah, keep doing it. Uh, uh. Thank God Compa's weapon's so damn good. Oh, the paralysis fucked me. Alright, switch off again. I was gonna switch 5PB off, but I kinda got messed up there. Gun. 
Alright, and the fan. A heroine's turn. Okay. Oh, uh oh, oh. Oh no. That's not good. And Wow, he fucked this up big time there. Why do you get like three turns, bro? Oh, oh we're dead. Oh no. Another heroine will He fucked this up. Oh my god, okay. That dungeon is not possible right now. Jesus. Okay, well what dungeon should I do then, huh? Or should we just go to Celestia? Which one's lower the other category? This one kind of does it. This is the only one that really lowers the other category by a lot, though. That's the thing. Hmm. I'm gonna go, um... I'm gonna go to Last Station real quick. I want to see what dungeons we can do there. This is kind of where, like, the grinding comes into play. Like, I might do- I might see if I can do anything in Last Station, but then I might just go to Celestia. And we might have, like, a awkward kind of finale. I can handle this easily. Supposedly something opens up after we beat the game, though. I can't say for sure, though. Let's keep going. Stop dodging! You guys are like level one bats. Come on. All because of the good wind. <laughs> Mario Wonder's got nothing on ROM hacks. Ah, cool, cool video I got on my feed. I haven't played me a good Mario ROM hack in a hot minute though. And no, the Paper Mario randomizer does not count. I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, I think there is a dungeon here that I can do to lower the other shares a bit. Dear ne there's Dear Neptune. And I think that's it, actually. Yeah, it's just Dear Neptune. That's the only one that actually lowers the other category. Which makes it really bad for increasing shares. Pretty sure I did this one off screen. And if I remember correctly, I don't remember. I think the. Where is the boss in this dungeon again? I think the boss was like at the top. It's kind of an annoying dungeon, Let's though. Let's not waste our time here too much. I only have three jack buttons left. I gotta buy more soon. It's really weird and annoying that you can only carry, like, a couple in this game. I think I did go up here. Oh boy, whatever. I guess I have some time. <laughs> but yeah, once the battle starts, you can just hold down, down and square on the- and you pretty much get to leave instantly. Oh yes, I think I am remembering. The boss is over here. Yeah, there he is. I hope lots of money drops. <laughs> I hope lots of money drops, smiley face. So I did fight this guy. You better give me something later for switching. As far as I know, this guy has like a I unique boss theme. This. We're gonna bully Gus now, are we? Bro! Bro, what the fuck? Rude. Rude ass motherfucker. Okay. Okay, I decide, fuck that dungeon. Let's just uh, go to Celestia. Because <laughs> I do not feel like grinding right now.
And honestly, I might not even get the true ending in this game, because it's actually probably the most annoying thing ever. The crew returns to East Star after gathering all legendary weapons. There's just one thing left to do before going to the final dungeon. Isti, check it! We got all four weapons! Yes, I have followed along with your journey in the records as well. Good it job, worked. Isti. Looks like you got all the right ones. So what should we do now? <laughs> Are you telling me there were wrong legendary weapons? I have finished preparations on my end. Come over here. Come over here. Ooh. Whoa there. How fancy. I never knew about this room. What is this? This room contains the keyholes for each weapon. Yeah, I see indentations on each of the four walls. Now go and place the weapons in the order I specify. First is the spear into the east wall. That's Ooh. Miyamoto's trust spear. Bam right? music. There. Now the gun into the south wall. South is that way, right? Kudorogi's dual revolver. Okay, it's in. Oh, uh, it's in. It's in like release order of the consoles, right? Next is the bow into the west wall. West is opposite east. Gates is wisdom bow. Got it. Last is the sword, placed into the north wall. The hero uses Zuki's trinity blade. Oh, that's a pretty, this is a pretty cool moment, at least. Ancient heroes, release the pathway to Celestia from your seal. <laughs> oh. oh, and 145 times. Is everybody all right? The path is open now. The path connecting the human world with Celestia. This is it, huh? This is it, Luigi. The time has come. <laughs> Don't I have that? It is time to face R4 and save the world. <laughs> sure, that, that works too. Let's go. I forgot where my this is it, Luigi. Cancer. I don't know. I forgot where it is. I don't know. I don't know. Lineage and justice. Why does Ganache have a level 99 quest for me now? <laughs> what is all this? Bug King? Planet Team's Defense Force. Huh. That's Game History Merit. Bug King. Does this do anything? None of these besides this one reduces the other category. And this one, I guess. Lineage of Justice. Sealed Ruins lower at level in Planet Tune. It's a perfect testing ground since no one uses the area. Here's what I'll do. I'll make a save on Find the Key Fragments. Save Data 19. I'm never gonna remember these, but there we go. Alright, Celestia Castle. The CPUs are bound by their destiny. To end all the manipulation caused by their fate, the party heads to the land where the console war began. And 146 times. We're relaxed here, but this might be the final dungeon. Isn't this R4's home? Also, this background is sick, by the way. I remember this background. I do not believe so. I think this is merely used as a base of operations. And we might find her evangelist costume, special weapons, and armors! Evangelist costume? <laughs> Enough chatter, girls. We should move. R4 will laugh at us if we continue to dilly-dally. I expect a damn good final dungeon. Um... Road to last station. Celestia Path, Last Dungeon. Ooh, exciting.
Yo, this place looks sick. This place looks actually sick. What the hell? Pretty, pretty damn good final dungeon. In my opinion, this might knock Rebirth 1's final dungeon out of the park. It's just in terms of how nice it looks. Oh boy, whatever. Dogu. Yo, Dogu is back? It's the N-word pass, Dogu. Oh, but he's really easy. <laughs> We're on a different level. Oh, they get, they're good for credit grinding. Hmm. Alright, I'm walking. Reach a specific area. I was expecting something more final dungeon-y sounding, though. The victory is ours. Okay, these guys might be a little tougher. Dragon zombie. Okay, yeah, these guys are a lot tougher. This is a Did you think <laughs> I'm just using like my favorite party members at this point in the game. Entering max power mode. I forgot how good V Extreme is. <laughs> Alright, what can this guy do? That didn't hurt. Nah, it's not too strong. Ouch. It's like 1600. Alright, well, Ify and um, right, Nisa can finish this off. All right. I don't even have um, Ify's best weapon right now. I don't have the, like, the really good one. Okay, these guys kind of put up a fight, honestly. I expect good ingredients. Seven thousand. It's gonna take a little bit to get there. They definitely saved the best for last, though. They really did reimagine the shit out of Celestia, though, in the remake. And they're preparing me. Get ready. I don't like these. I never like the look of these enemies. I think they're not too strong though. My sleeves. My sleeves are too long. I'll finish you off. All right, Gus, can you finish this guy off? I don't know if you can. Switch, please. Might have to have Kampa finish it. Uh, I'll do my best. More and more. All right, thanks, Kampa. <laughs> I wish nursing school was this easy. I assume once we get to, like, the very end, our force is gonna pop out, do a funny laugh, and then we're gonna fight her. Never let your guards down! Metal dog you, yay! More free, free battles. <laughs> I don't know why these guys are so easy. They're, they're, they're just there for money, pretty it's much. They're there to prepare your wallet for the final battle, I suppose. Oh, one last Cleon battle if you want. I don't feel like it though, because I'm already pretty good on levels. Justice will never lose! Um... I'm gonna be honest, I'll probably say no to this one. <laughs> no, no to that battle. 
Okay. Um, I'm gonna make another save. Over save data 16. And we're gonna go- we're gonna go fight R4. I think we're ready. There we go. <laughs> so you're finally here. Istoir too. How cunning of you all to bring her along. How many times have we suffered that laugh? <laughs> I'm glad we won't have to anymore after this. R4, I am neither enemy nor friend. You already know that, right? Look within yourself. You are your greatest nemesis. You are doing all of this to change yourself. Her enemy is herself? Is she gonna <laughs> beat herself up? Does she want us to defeat her? No. She is trying to destroy the world in an effort to gain herself. That explanation really didn't help. <laughs> <laughs> so, you've come to that conclusion as well, Histoire. You've been at my side for millions of years, and you finally caught on, huh? Hysterical! She's her own nemesis? Gain herself? What? What's all this mean? Yeah, what what does that mean? You don't get it either, oh, Iffy? 146. Think about what Isti has always said about herself. Huh? She's the world's everything and the world's her everything? Yes, it all comes back to those words. Those iconic what words. What do you think will happen to Isti if R4 destroys the world? She'd disappear? No, I would not disappear. But there is no doubt I would forfeit most of my existence. Oh, that would, that would suck. I will lose most of my power to stand against R4. Oh, so R4 could do whatever she wants to Isti when she's sleeping. Could you be any more thick? It means R4 would be able to gain Isti's power. Oh shit, that's not good. And have her way with the world. That's her objective. It all makes sense now. Close. Histoire, is your answer the same as theirs? No. Perhaps your goal is to use my power and overwrite yourself as the complete being known as the true goddess. <laughs> Excellent. I am most amused. <laughs> Looks like locking you away in the human world wasn't a bad idea after all. You've become rather wise for a little old thing. However, you're missing something quite important. I'll show you what it is in this battle. Now, Neptune. This is the last time I shall call out your name. Well, at least in this universe, it'll be the last. <laughs> Here we go. The heroine protecting this world will never lose! All right, this this does feel very climactic, even though this is the bad ending. <laughs> well, it's not the bad ending; it's the normal ending. This is a bonus. Take it home. All right. Well, here we go. I never let my prey go. What's the worst that could happen? Not yet. Oh shit. Ow, Jesus. <laughs> That's not good. I'll finish you off. Entering Max Pa I don't remember the final battleground looking like this. Bless you, <clears throat> All right, I think we need to have Gust heal us. He does have the Gust Healing Pod still. 30% or less. Yeah, that's good. He does have the ability to revive as well. Gust Special Drink. Oh yeah, um... How do I... How do I apply his high tension? Gust Special Coffee. You know what? Let's put this at, like, 66%. It's still my- I'm all over the fend. 
We need that. We need that Gus special pot, anyways. <laughs> Bonus, this is bonus. You better give me something later for switching. My turn. Not easy being an idol. All right, five PB got some damage in. Depend on me. <laughs> yeah, and a guard break on top of that. All right, getting better. Alright, that's that was a good turn. This is just the warm-up for the final phase though. I'll finish you off. Ooh. Not yet. Laser. Oh damn, okay. Alright, Gus, we need you to We need you to heal us again. <laughs> Good, very good. This is a bone. Okay. Out. Thankfully, Gus has good magic defense. Not yet. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I got another guard break. I'll show you righteousness. What? Are we gonna end this battle in the cool way? I think we're gonna end it with the Dark Sword X Slash again. I mean, this this move never gets old. This is the strike of justice. Yeah. Not yet. I can still. I can still. <laughs> She's dead. 450,000 experience. Yay! I leveled up! Da da da! Da da da! <laughs> oh, 148? So something? Did I miss something? Ugh, I'm not gonna be able to fall asleep until I figure it out. That aside, R4 is down for the count. Let's get out of here. Yeah. I have a bad feeling about this place. You think it'll start falling or self-destruct? This building is not as fragile as you think. However, I do feel something awful approaching. Uh-oh. Everyone, we must get out of this place immediately. Hurry! Well, that was it. The final battle. R4 has fallen, however, the journey is not yet over. Before having the chance to plan their next step, they must face their destiny in one more form. Okay, Celestial Path, a final, final battle. Wait, someone's blocking the entrance. Again. <laughs> you see the answer now? I won't let you go. How? You were defeated. I returned from the realm of death just to give Neptune her precious Aww, shit. answer. Be honored. You didn't have to do that. Jeez. <laughs> Oreo eyes. You'd better answer Isti's question, too. How are you still alive? Was that just a phantom earlier? No, I was definitely crushed. However, the power of faith from my followers helped me to revive. Oh shit. What? Who in the human world would have faith in you? Many humans do. It's a little different than the followers you get, however. Have you forgotten the name of Overlord Momus? Why'd I spread such a myth? To force people to have faith and fear. But oh, that's damn. The Overlord, right? It's not for you. The name's insignificant. The heretics fear the Overlord and loyally spread monsters around the world. The world's end and an absolute ruler. People's fear acts as faith and becomes my source of power. So she's being fueled by the by the, by the fear of the people. Hmm. Oh. I 
149. That's your final answer, huh? I totally forgot about the pretend overlord until just now. We're not scared of some artificial faith you forced upon people. We'll defeat you over and over and over again. Yeah. All right, now this is we the... Won't lose. The, the, I don't know if this, if this is the final battle or not. Oh, she's a lot tankier now. <laughs> this is a bonus. Well, maybe a little. Maybe a little tankier. Don't think I won't be watching. My turn. All right, let's do a, a heavenly sound. Next, please. I'm glad you depend on me. Oh, another guard break, Bria. All right, getting... No, Nisa hasn't guarded yet. What are you doing? A heroine's turn. A heroine's turn. I'll finish you off. All right, Gus. We might need healing. Is Nisa below half? Oh, she's just barely not below half. That's really shitty. It's still yeah, so we don't get the heal, sadly. All right. <laughs> Another I guard break. I won't be watching. I've been waiting for this. <laughs> what? Not easy being an idol. I'm glad you depend on me. The switching mechanic is really nice, though. I never let my prey. I, I get a kick out of that. Oh boy! Oh no! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Get to use all of the uh, DLC makers for one final battle. <laughs> Let's keep playing. Go Not boom. bad. Not bad. <laughs> One short thing. A perfect combo. Oh well, that didn't quite go how I wanted to, that's okay. He's almost dead. I'll finish you. And we're, we're gonna have to probably finish her next turn, though. I'll finish you off. Yeah, I don't think Nisa's killing her this turn. Ooh, okay, okay. Uh oh. <laughs> this attack surpasses all reality. She, now, be prepared. she has one big final fuck you attack. And has to compile the shaders. Oh shit. <laughs> I think Nisa's dead. It's safe to say she's dead from that. Ah! Oh my god. Justice lose. Not Nisa. We needed her. These are good boys. Come on, Gus, finish it off. In Nisa's honor. Combo. 
now. I learned. All right, let's finish it off with a slap to the face. <laughs> I can still. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I'm gonna be stronger. Sadly, Nisa died. No, it's not over yet. You've seen those last bosses. There's always a third form. Pointless. Your power is running out. This is your last chance to turn things around. It is not too late to overwrite your wound. <laughs> How naive. My only wish is to destroy this wretched game industry and absorb your powers. Your charity is not appreciated, so <laughs> shut up! Shut up! <laughs> R4, you've been doing this to change yourself, right? You can do it with your own power instead of resorting to the tome. It's probably a lot easier that way. Perhaps my initial motive was to become the what? true goddess. However, that is no longer the case. Why, why is she recording uh, in, from inside a can now? I've awakened to my true inner evil. Oh my dear, how satisfying to have control. I'll keep fulfilling my selfish desires. It is certainly more pleasing this way. <laughs> R4, get out of the bathroom. She's acting like a funky chicken. Is she going all <laughs> crazy? R4 is a goddess after all. The gathered power stemming from fear has begun to eat away at her soul. Normal folk call that karma. Are we just gonna <laughs> leave her? She kind of looks like she's in pain. I don't think you've ever sympathized with a villain before. <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> I can feel the overflowing power coursing. Damn, look how surprised they are. Istuar, you are worthless to me now. I am born again. Watch closely my final form, which surpasses all goddesses. The almighty, complete form of a true CPU! You mean a dragon? Yep. You're a dragon. That doesn't look anything like a pretty, perfect goddess. You wanted this? You don't have to understand. <laughs> Just know this is my true power. This is, this is the true final battle, I think. We can do this! Evilness will never prevail! Oh, Nisa, you're still, you're still not looking too good. This is the real R4. She's a big-ass, weird-looking dragon. I really wish I could have healed, um... I really wish I could have revived Nisa, though. Yeah, this is the awesome final boss music. Oh! Oh! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Um, do I have something that heals me on defense? Yes, I have an EX hero drink. I kind of need that right now. I also need Gus to revive. When does she revive anyway? Um, revives. Gus Nectar. We need Gus Nectar right now. We need that more than anything right now. This fucking music's so good. Entering max power. Entering max power mode. All right, defend, please. Everyone, use this. We need this. Oh, it heals everybody. Oh shit. You like special items? 
That that drink is way better than I thought. I don't think ice is gonna be very good against her. <laughs> yeah, ice is ice is way better than fire. It's still my turn. I hate to waste value. <sighs> okay, we're doing better now. If he might die still, but we have the potential to infinitely revive her. Entry. I'll finish you off. All right, defend. Uh oh. I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh no! <laughs> Iffy! <laughs> the fuck- the fuck happened to Iffy? I don't- I don't know, but she lived that somehow. Somehow Iffy lived that. Oh my god. Okay. Switch off. We need to get as much damage done as possible. Good damage. My turn. Entering map. That ice damage is pretty good, though. Already? I can keep going. My turn. Um, have Red switch out. Switch. We just need to get that little bit of chip damage in from her. Yeah, a bit of extra damage there. Switch, please. Every bit of damage matters. Switch back to Gust. If Kamba is in the battle for any more than like a second, he's gonna die. Alright, keep going, Gust. You got this. Uh oh. That's not what I like to see. Oh no. How did Ify live that? How did she live? Ow! She should not be alive right now. If anything, I feel like Golden Grass should have kicked it instead. Actually, maybe I can do that. Mmm. You know what? Quick Pot is good too. Okay. Keep it. Keep going. Keep keep this combo going. You can finish this. Finish it good. All right. I've just enough for heavenly sound. Yeah, I got a guard break too. Count on me. 
I just enough for amusement walls too. It's helping. It's doing damage. I don't know how much health she has, but she's tanky. I'll carry on your legacy. All right, get the get him with the pretty pretty gun mark too, and it missed. Great. Switch off again. Switch, please. I, I'll do my best. All right, and then we can just defend with Gust. Yeah. And get her with an extra 200 damage. It'll add up, trust me. Oh boy. Uh oh. Not yet. That hurts. Let's do it again. Okay, that's fine though, because that means Gus is going to um, give us a nice heal. I never let my prey go. You can finish this. Finish it good. I'm just jamming out of this music, man. <laughs> Alright, let's get her with another force combo. Switch. Let me stand back for a bit. A heroine appears during her allies' crisis. Pay attention. <sighs> yeah, there we go. I need a little rest. You can count on me. Ooh, Kampa gets to keep going. Switch, please. Don't worry, Gust is here. We get to do the Gust campaign. Punch. Get away. All right, defend and heal, please. I hate to waste value. We really need the heal anyway. <laughs> Uh oh, here it comes. I'll destroy and reset everything. Oh, what's he doing? This isn't good. She's doing her own like EXE move. Oh no. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Now. That's really bad. <laughs> Gus, you have to heal. You have to revive her now. She revives when she gets her turn, though. That's nasty, dude. Holy shit, that did so much. I'm just glad Gus and Nisa are able to tank it. You know? Oh. This is for everyone. Thank God for the Gust Nectar. <laughs> uh, Gust is really the MVP of this game. Holy shit! 
She's gotten me out of so many shitty situations. I need a little rest. You can count on me. Switch, please. My turn. Alright, and then we get to heal again. Oh, is she doing it again? Oh, she's gonna be spamming this. She's gonna be spamming this until the end of the fight, isn't she? Oh, jeez. Oh my god. Oh boy. Oh no! Oh no, it's even worse. Even worse. How are we gonna survive until the end of the fight? I'll finish you off! I don't know if I can hold out that long. I mean maybe I can. He's really close to dying. One red, you have to end this fight. <laughs> Don't make any stupid mistakes. A heroine appears during her allies' crisis. Every every attack matters here. Would you like? Sp okay, we're, we're gonna be okay. I think we're gonna be okay. I think we can end this. Compa might be able to finish off this fight if we're lucky. I, I'll do my best. Don't question, or you lose. Come on, Compa. Come on, you can do it. I can do this. You can I end can it. You can do this, Compa. Oh, we're so close! Like she's like one hit away. I should switch out. I, I'll do my best. Come on, Gus, you got this. I learned from a fairy. Here's a bonus. Yes, yes, he did it. Gus won. He did it. You did it! Oh my god, Gus did it! Yeah! Everybody lived! Oh my god. Did we get her now? Oh, that's... That was pretty satisfying. Dragon, I thought she was gonna offer me half the world or something. Well, we made it to the 150th time this song's played, I think. I don't think she'd say that when her goal was to destroy the world. I mean, would you really have accepted if she said that? I think that's a game over. A <laughs> game over. Of course not. Not in front of everyone else, anyway. You're way scarier than our four. Is that a compliment? Nap, Nap, and Diffy, we shouldn't let down our guard. We don't know if she's really gone or not. My grandpa always said, What appears twice, appears a third time. That dragon was the third. I really don't think that saying means anything. You sure you memorized it right? <laughs> I I'm sorry, but I'm getting a little hungry. I thought I'd hear Nep say that before anyone else. <laughs> Did we get going? We're back on solid ground at last. What should we do now? It would be nice to go somewhere we could have a meaningful discussion. 
Let's go to Compass. Yay! It's not too far from here. 151 times. Why my place all the time? <laughs> it's so small. I think we should go to Planetune Basilica. I agree with Kampa. That's a good place to celebrate things. I think we should just go to Planetune since it's the closest. Jeez, that's not a good reason. <laughs> Man, I don't want to go. Um, I'm back. Or, nice to meet you. Hi, I'm the CPU Nep. Uh, Purple Heart. Huh? Is that really you, Lady Purple Heart? That voice. Lady Purple Heart. We've been very worried about you. We're so glad you're safe. Purple Heart is okay. Where have you been all this time, my lady? Who are these people with you? Oh, um, friends. Friends? Oh, they 152. must also be from Celestia then. Oh, can we borrow a room where we can talk in private? Certainly. Whatever has happened, you must all be exhausted. We will offer as much service as we can. Please, make yourselves comfortable. Well, I'm just, like, exhausted from that battle. That battle was actually very stressful. <laughs> I'm glad we could all settle down for once. I'm feeling a little out of it. But there's still lots of stuff to do, even after defeating R4. The monsters summoned by all the world's heretics. They will not go away, even if R4 is gone. That's right, the monsters! We'll get rid of the monsters. I kind of feel like nothing's really changed. But at least there will never be more monsters than there are right now, you know? Isti, can you look up how many monsters currently exist in the world? This time it's fine if it takes three days. I would need those three days for the exact number. However, through my years of experience, I would guess about 12,000. <laughs> 152. Sure? Can we knock a few zeros off? 120? 12? That is the sum of all four lands. It could not possibly be a mere one or two hundred. So, if we don't get rid of them, there'll never be a world without monsters? Of course. There is no need for you three to shoulder everything. If everyone in each land works together... I can't wait for that to happen. Everyone's waiting for their goddess to take out those monsters already. She's right. If we were gonna sit around and wait for someone else, we wouldn't have come to save Isti in the first place. Good to good ass music. Then it's decided. Our next mission is the monster genocide. Let's go skip across the world again. Feels like we've just backtracked to the beginning. It won't be the same though. Before, we were so clueless, we couldn't do anything but try our bestest. It'll be a lot more fun this time around. We're one step ahead of the rest of the world in human evolution. Hey, we did it! I can't play this music, sadly. But, man. Well, this was a good-ass game, wasn't it? I wonder what music I should play in the background. I don't know, I'll figure that out. But, wow. I, I, I honestly thought that final boss was pretty damn tough. <laughs> And we got all these little we get all these little cubes showing the CG images. That's nice. <laughs> There's Nawa. I'm still honestly torn about whether or not I should go back and um get all the four goddesses for the true ending. Because that is gonna take a long ass fucking time. And it's gonna it's gonna be really annoying to do. <laughs> because I have to grind the shit out of this game just for, like, you know, a slightly different ending. I almost feel like it'd be better to just look up the ending and watch it. <laughs> because it's not really that worth it, honestly. 
I don't know. Like, I, 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 I felt like putting in the effort for, you know, the first three Rebirth games, for Neptunia V2, um, Sega Hard Girls, but this game is just different because it's really annoying to get shares in this game. I don't know, it's hard to, it's hard to describe. Like, hmm. How do I just, how do I explain it? Because the only way to get shares in this game is to beat a dungeon, right? Also, that was a pretty, that was a pretty short credits scene. That was it. Oh, Nepgaga complete. Huh? We get more screen time? 153. A commercial? But that was the ending. This must be our chance to say a more personal farewell. Yeah. A good beginning makes a good ending. All's well that ends well. The start and finish are the most important things. But we didn't get an opening greeting. <laughs> well, should we wrap things up? I always love when they do this. They do like a, hey, you beat the game, bro. Good job. Thank you for all the adventures. I know we weren't the best at times, but thank you for leveling us up. We'll see you again someday. Hmm. Well, at least the next time you play the game. Make sure to raise my stats to the max. <laughs> All right, we'll do, Iffy. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you so much for everything. Keep playing until your thumbs fall off. That said, I'll see you in the game. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> thank you for playing. Yay! We get the little art of the makers hanging out. That's wholesome. Okay, um, I'm gonna save over that. Xing save menu. Begin new game with transfer clear data. Sure, I'll have a new game plus save. No matter the distance drawn oh, between it. Oh, my oh, oh, okay. We're, we're doing this again, are we? Okay, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting to do this. <laughs> Should I count this? Should I count this? No, I'm not counting this. I'm not, I'm not counting this. I won't lose. Is there really no easy way to go back to the uh, starting cutscene? Are you ready? Too late for oh, also, also, you can't skip this. Is it? That's weird. Back off. Okay, you're not- you're hold on. But yeah, that was, um, Hyper Dimension Neptunia for the PS3. I really enjoyed this game, though. Like, I- I knew going into this that this game was gonna be kind of, you know, mid compared to, you know, future games in the franchise. Because I feel like a lot of people would agree, the gameplay, at least, didn't get that good until, like, Victory or Rebirth 1. And I do agree, I think the combat system in Rebirth 1 is better, obviously. But, besides that, and maybe, I guess, the additional partners you get, I feel like this game, honestly, might be better. Like, I think the story in this game is better, for one. The kind of whole vibe and world building is done better in this one, too. So, I don't honestly think um, either game is better. I think both of them should be played to really, like, get a feel and understanding for the Neptunia, like, world, basically. Yeah. I think um, both games have their ups and downs. Because I think... With the transition to Rebirth 1, a lot of the charm of this game was kind of lost. Because, that's all, at the end of the day, that's all Rebirth 1 really is. It's kind of a retelling of what happens in this game. There are a lot of things that are accurate to this, but there's also a lot of things that they lost. Like, a lot of some of the side stories got cut out. Like, obviously, the biggest change is... Um, Nisa and Gust are not in Rebirth 1, 
Red and 5PB are also not in Rebirth 1, so you don't get those side stories. Those those are exclusive to this game. Um, some other random little things are gone, like uh, Kampa's grandpa, or, you know, this whole, like, Celestia castle thing. That's not in the remake. That's for sure. Like you get the, you get this weird like rainbow, this, like this ra weird rainbow thing where you're walking on rainbows to get to like an island or whatever. That's like kind of that's like a whole different ass thing. It doesn't ex it doesn't represent this at all. So yeah. And also, I just feel like the cutscenes in this game. In a way, I feel like the cutscenes were done better in this game. Like I love this opening with, like, all of the nations and the, like, city pans and stuff. That is really cool. I still think this is one of the coolest title screens in all of Neptunia. Because all of the future ones are just, like, a static screen. I don't know what the Mark II title screen looks like. It might be good, I don't know. But I just think, like, I don't know. Somehow, I feel like this is, like, the most, one of the most detailed of the games. It doesn't make sense. Like, the character portraits are really expressive as well, which is not the case in Rebirth 1. Sure, there are, like, some things that Rebirth 1 did well, like, you know, the whole, like, CPUs transforming mid-battle or mid-cutscene. That's cool. They don't do that in this game, but I feel like the characters are more expressive because, like, you know, they have more animation, they have more expressions, like, you know, like a Neptune, like, holding up her arms and stuff like that, or Kampa crying, or, you know, funny things like Iffy getting pissed off. That's something we kind of lost. And I, I I think it's especially noticeable in the Red and um, 5PB cutscenes, where Iffy's, like, tilting her head and, like, putting up her phone and stuff. They did a really good job with that, too. And I mean, for a budget game... This game, this game's pretty damn good. <laughs> so, they did a really good job of the first entry, even if it is a bit dated. And the battle system and dungeon exploration does kind of suck. But, I don't know, I, I feel like it had its own little fun charm to it, somehow. So, I don't really have a whole lot else to say about this game. Those are my thoughts. I could go on about it, but just know that I don't think this game is shitty. I think this is a good game. It's just, you know, not a perfect Neptunia game. But not every Neptunia needs to be perfect. I think every Neptunia has a bit of flaws to them. It's just this one has a few more flaws than others. But it's still a really fun time. Especially if... I feel like especially if you're coming from Rebirth 1, this game has a lot, of, a lot going for it. But I wouldn't blame you if you wanted to start the series off with this PS3 entry. I know some people did. It's a bit of a rough start, though, so I feel like you kind of get a bit of appreciation out of this one if you've played all the others, but that's just that's just me. That's just me, personally. So, yeah. Anyways, I honestly don't think I'm gonna go for the true ending. I think it's a bit too grindy. I think what I'll do is I might watch the true ending myself, and we could do that right now. Um... Let me look at that up. Neptunia true ending. We can see what we were missing out on, you know? Let's see. I'm gonna do that. As a little bonus, I think we're gonna watch the Hyperdimension Neptunia true ending. And we're gonna see if anything is, like, different about it. Um. Yeah, you know what? Uh, we'll... Courtesy of Cyber Mega, we're going to watch their video on the true ending of Neptunia. So, uh, let me get Brave open. I think I have it. We're gonna watch this. We're gonna we're gonna see what the, we're we're gonna see just what we're missing out on. If if there's anything different. Did we get her now? When she turned into the dragon, I thought she was going to offer me half the world or something. I don't think she'd say that when her goal was to destroy the world. I mean, would you... Oh my god, the audio is really yeah. weird. <laughs> I think that's a game over. Of course not. Shouldn't let down our... This is the same. Kampa is correct, though. 
Man, what is going on with the audio? It sounds like extremely like gained up. Or there's Noir. The three days again. Can't you like feel the change within yourself? Whatever, I'll look for you. So, can you transform? Please be gentle with me. Because it would be very bad if you stain it, smudge the writing, tear a page, drool. <laughs> we'll just fight her if she comes back again. Is there actually a boss fight? So you say, but if all four reappears, she will probably be even more powerful. It's fine, don't worry. We'll keep training so we'll always be stronger. Yeah. How determined. You're so dependable, Ippy. I suppose I can stop worrying now. No matter when R4 returns or how many monsters exist out there, Ippy is going to take care of it all. Sure. <laughs> don't make it sound like I'm going to do everything. We're a party, so we do it together. Save it for a rainy day. There's Blani. It's best to prepare in case R4 comes back in the future. That'll only make me restless. If I was all prepared and then nothing happened, I'd always be worried. Only the ones worried should get prepared. That's not true. It's something my grandpa said and he's always right. <laughs> Think of it like this. You leave your umbrella at work in case it rains. What if it rains while you're at home? Then I'd feel silly for wasting my time worrying, but... What if it was snow and hail and cats and dogs and fire and meteorites at the same time? <laughs> the fuck, Blonde? Then I wouldn't go outside. I'm gonna count this as the 154th time. I'm sorry, but I'm getting a little hungry. I thought I'd hear Nep say that before anyone else. Well, Should we get going? That's the same. Are there other buildings or popular tourist spots in Celestia? I want to take this chance to see them all. Hmm. Any place we can eat? It's strange, though. We shouldn't really get hungry in Celestia. You're right. That only applies to goddesses. They do not get sick, nor do they age while in Celestia. All right. I, I always forget about that. That's crazy. If there were a land in Celestia, the CPU presiding over that place would be the most important one. <laughs> we just have a goofy cutscene. Oh, sorry, my mouse is on the screen. We're back on solid ground at last. What should we do now? Yeah, what should we do? It would be nice to go somewhere we could have a meaningful discussion. Oh, Let's go to Compass. 155 times. <laughs> Why is it always my place? <laughs> Why my place all the time? It's so small. I think we should go to Planetune Basilicom. I agree with Compa. Yeah, that's the same. It is Neptune's Basilicom, so I am certain they would serve us tea and snacks upon request. Oh, that's that's new, I think. Oh, but I haven't been there since I got my memory back. It's gonna be all flavors of awkward. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready. It's cozy at Compa's. I know where she hides all her most yummy snacks, too. You do? Then, no way am I letting you. <laughs> the Basilicom is much more spacious and comfortable. Why not Last Station's Basilicom? It's way better than Planetunes. It's future-proof. Oh, Noir's gotta add her own little comment. <laughs> My room's spacious, too. I've got cute dessert cakes and expensive organic blended teas. Mmm, yummy. That's no better than my Basilicom and Leanbox. We have our own personal patissier. That's also yummy. Open Terrace. 
which we may need to dust off since I haven't used it in a Okay, so now the CPUs are going to be being like, hey, my, my Basilicom's better. Julie's Basilicom is always warm and cozy. Why don't we just go to all of them? It's a little far, but I'd rather talk in a place I'm familiar with. I think we should just go to Planetune since it's the closest. Jeez, that's not a good reason. <laughs> So far, this ending is not worth it. Um, I'm back. Or nice to meet you. This seems the same. Hi, I'm the CPU Nep, a Purple Heart. Huh? Is that really you, Lady Purple Heart? That sounds the name. Who are these people with you? This is the same. That part did that part's not changed. <sighs> I'm glad we could all settle down for once. I'm feeling a little out of it. But there's still lots of stuff to do, even after defeating R4. Alright, is this how's this any different? The monsters summoned by all the world's heretics. They will not go away, even if R4 is gone. Wow, great. So there's still monsters, even if I get the true ending. Is this the same? Wow. We're just utilizing the true power of a goddess to wipe out the monsters. Oh, okay, this is different. You're one of the four CPUs. How is using your power cheating? I agree with Nep Nep. Iffy, the goddesses should never resort to a quick, easy solution. It's about putting your powers to use. Do you actually want to do this on your own? Of course. They are monsters invading my land. Doesn't matter who did it or why. I want to crush them. This is where we all must stand up and defeat the monsters ourselves. To make sure it's done right. Oh. Yeah, that's 155 that's times. I, have come out. Come I think. Do you agree? Right? I don't know. It'd be great if we could get rid of the monsters quickly. But I see where you're coming from, too. Who cares about the method? All that matters is that they're gone. You two gotta put your pride away. I'm in agreement with Lady Blackheart. Monsters are troubling the people. We should do this quickly. An even split. I thought everyone would like my idea. Can you tip the scales, Whiteheart? Let's tip the scales. I don't care, so long as the monsters <laughs> are gone. I don't care. <laughs> if you really want to fight them yourselves, then we'll just ride out the monsters from Louis and Last Station's records. Can you do that? Well, I knew that. Why don't we try it? That sounds like an ideal solution. You two really fine with it? Who knows when we'll cooperate again? This might be our last time. Oh, damn. At least, I'm not thinking about doing it again anytime soon. You two should give up. Isn't the peace of your citizens more important than your pride? Fine. Yes, Iffy, you are right. I'll accept the offer for <laughs> Yeah, you better listen to Iffy, Bert. <laughs> nope, I pass. We'll all take care of Planet Tune together, right? Nep Nep, is this determined? I'm okay with it. Let's keep this party until you're satisfied. Oh, 156. The monsters are gone, you know. The longer it takes to get rid of them, the longer it'll take for you to graduate. Is that okay with you? Oh, shit. <laughs> are my priorities backwards? Papa isn't gonna go back to school. I think so. You're gonna be one of those adult students who look silly in a class full of teenagers. No, oh, no. <laughs> I, I will become an adult student, but I can't leave Nap Nap. I, I. Oops, sorry, Kampa. I totally forgot about your schooly wooly. <laughs> your schooly wooly. Fine. If Kampa can graduate and not become an adult student, I'm willing to help. Nap Nap, thank you. Good to know it's a happily ever after ending. 
Yeah, I mean, that's, that's definitely something. Not worth grinding my butt off, though. <laughs> How do we overwrite the tome's records? Put one of each of your hands on me and pray. The four of you are now one. Link your thoughts, or it will not work. Oh, I'll link my thoughts. One fifty-seven. in my shoes the three of you ganged up on me and pushed me off celestia i'm traumatized i feel bad about it thinking back we weren't exactly rational yeah you don't you think let's just put that aside for now we should concentrate on this first it's for all your damn nations we've been clawing at one another until just recently it's gotten better since we teamed up against R4, but I think we've still got some bitter feelings inside. You gotta put your feelings aside. Each other. I don't know about that. You're all thinking too much. We should just let bygones be bygones. Oh, 158. <laughs> I'm the victim, you know? Don't make it seem so lighthearted. But, well, we're sorta in a crisis. I'll forget about it for now. You owe me lots of snacks, though. <laughs> yeah, goodness. that's how you apologize to Neptune. You don't apologize, you just give her snacks. Snacks? Ew. Like you need it. <laughs> <laughs> then help me out, and we'll call it Squaresies. How's that grab ya? That's not how it works, Neptune. This is about our feelings. We can't just turn them on or off like a switch. <laughs> Everyone, please think about the good things your fellow CPUs offer, as well as yourself. Yeah, think about the good in life. Your thoughts can coincide if you all focus on one another's positive attributes. Yeah, okay. I think I get what my and everyone else's strengths are. We'll totally get along. Thanks bunches, Isti. We'll be a okay. <laughs> Thanks, bunches. From this world. Yes. Sure. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, this song is so good, dude. And it ended. Rip. Returning to Celestia, what are all of you planning to do? It is all right if you desire to remain here and settle things in your own lands, but please make sure to return soon. Actually, the four of us already brainstormed. We're all going to stay right here. We want to quit being CPUs. <laughs> Oreo eyes. Quit your jobs as goddesses. One fifty-six. Who will create the next goddess? Who will become the current goddess? <laughs> Please calm down. We actually wanted to ask you a favor regarding that. Give the full powers of a goddess to the one who succeeds us. This will return the world to its original state. Who the fuck's gonna seize you? Oh, hello, Mario here. Uh, are you serious? You're all declaring your resignations? Damn. Not and not just Noir this time. Goddess or human? Nep Nep is still the same. Are you sure though, Nep Nep? You betcha. I want to be just like Iffy and Kampa. I understand. Then, please, put all your powers inside of me. Ah, oh, my eyes. Okay. <laughs> there. Sucks I can't transform anymore, but... We don't need to since the monsters are all gone. Oh, and 157. I have to walk all the way back to my basilica. I'll get sweaty. I should have done this after I got back. I'm having fun. Oh, I'm done. I'm watching a, the true ending on YouTube because I don't feel like getting the true ending. I didn't plan ahead at all. Well, what does that mean? I'm always thinking of future proofing. 
Perhaps this is because we all share some of our four's personality traits. Speaking That's a bit weird to think about. Wouldn't that make us sisters? Oh no, no, Verge's sister talk. You, <laughs> You've got a solid yeah, I beat the game like 20 minutes ago. Hey, no fair. You think you can just get picked up? Compa, Iffy and I will take you all back. That's right. Now that you're ordinary citizens, I'm a bit worried to leave you alone. <laughs> I wish you luck. Please help your lands as much as you can. Why is it disappointing? Alrighty, you got it. If you see us being naughty, feel free to zap us with some divine lightning or something. <laughs> divine lightning? <laughs> okay, you can count on it. Thus, the long-fought console war came to an end. After their deaths, nobody remained who Oh yeah, that's right, they die! Forgotten as a legend from the past. They die at Peace the end. Upon the world. No one knows whether it was due to their I finished too early? early? But it is said, all those on game industry lived happily ever after. I mean, it took 19 episodes. Okay, and then that's- and then the credits. Okay, what about, uh, is the ending any different? Huh? We get more screen time? What's this? Intermission? A commercial? <laughs> but that was the ending! I- I beat it like an hour 40 or so. personal farewell! A good beginning makes a good ending. All's well that ends well. The start and finish are the most important things. But we didn't get an opening greeting. It seems the well, same. <laughs> things up? Thank you for all the adventures. I know we weren't the best at times, but thank you for leveling us up. That's yeah, this this is the same. Oh, that's the same. They, they, they that's unchanged. Oh, but the goddesses are included in the ending. Okay, that's the only- that's the one of the other only differences. Okay, um... What do the comments have to say about this? It's kind of sad we never see the first Neptune anymore. This is a good ending to a game that was a nice picture. Can't wait for the Mark II playthrough. After seeing this, I finally understand why they chose to completely reboot. Rebirth 1's true ending's completely different, and honestly made me super confused as to why Rebirth 2 didn't continue. <laughs> the true ending is in Japanese. Hmm. Yeah, the other games are in a different universe. Hmm. Yeah, so that's um that's that. Wow, that that true ending is really weird. I don't think it's worth I don't think that was worth grinding for though. I'm glad I did not grind for that cuz I was not worth it at all. Like you get you get some extra you get some extra dialogue with the CPUs. Um Okay, well here here's the thing. Another thing about the true ending is you have to do a one-on-one -on -one duel with each of the goddesses. That also would have been included, but it probably would have been that exciting anyways because my Neptune is like super overpowered and she has like this level, she has like this 5,000 damage sword that's probably just going to end the fight in like a few turns anyways, so it's probably not going to be that exciting. And then I'd recruit them, use them for like a couple battles, and then that's it, which is really lame. And also, the true ending is really weird, because I kind of forgot that in the true ending, the goddesses die. Like, they die of old age. I don't know. Honestly, I feel like both of the endings are kind of underwhelming. Like, in the normal ending, um, you kill R4, you go back home, and um, Neptune and Kampa and Iffy are just gonna go out and just defeat all the monsters. Meanwhile, in the true ending, the four goddesses, they like hold hands 
around Eastwar, and then they seal all the monsters away. And that's like the only difference. And that's about it. And then they they die, and then they pass on their legacy down to the successor goddess, which we never find out who that is. And then, as we all know, this series gets rebooted with Mark II, and every other every other game, every other Neptune game has been set in the Mark II universe. The Mark II universe has been like that's been like consistent throughout the rest of the series because that that's the one that has like Nepgear and all of the candidates. And since you know Nepgear appears in most of the Neptune games, every every other game takes place in that Mark II continuity. Which is why this game is so interesting, because it's set in its own universe, and only this game has that universe. Which is why this game is just weird and interesting. So, yeah. I don't know, that's kind of why I like it so much, though. But, I'm glad I can finally say that I've beaten Neptunia on the PS3. And also, I never got to use the move CPU Neptune. I never got to use that move. Even though it costed 100 AP and I did have it at one point. But yeah. So yeah. What's some, what's some fitting music to end this on? There we go. Alright, well anyways guys. Thanks for watching my series on Hyperdimension Neptunia. I actually finished this game on the last day of July. That's wild. I wasn't expecting to finish it so quickly. At the time of recording, it is July 31st, so... I, f I technically finished it before August started, so that's pretty neat. Um, we're gonna resume Tomodachi life probably for a little while. T so I might do like a Tomodachi life stream every morning. And I'm gonna have to see if I can figure out um, what my next series is. Because I wanted to play um, Plants vs. Zombies 2, the Chinese edition specifically. But the problem is, is I have to figure out how to turn on um, virtualization on my computer. And I'm not sure if it supports it or not. I have to find that out. Because I can't run phone emulators without it. So... That's gonna be a problem I gotta figure out for myself. So, yeah. But, I will see you guys in the next series, whenever that is. And, uh, you know, keep watching shit. I might even try and get Metal Gear Solid 4 running on this thing. So, yeah, that's fun. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next series. Take care.